I think it's a great event. It's great, obviously a great way for the community to come together. But also more specifically, I think for business owners to realize that uh, there, there are there, there is a large group of Latinos in the community, Latino business owners, owners, and that there's also uh, a large number of resources. When I started this, wow, it smells fantastic in this room. Let me tell you something. It's a privilege to be here. Hispanics are starting jobs and entrepreneurial opportunities at a rate of four times faster when compared to their Caucasian counterparts. The Latino population we project will grow from 42 million to 128 million, 80 million by the year 2050, 80 million out of 150 mil 140 million, the math is obvious, the majority of the growth in the Latino population fueled by the children of today's immigrants. Utah has a sizable presence of Latinos now and uh, one of the highest growth rates in the country in the Latino population. So for this state, which is now we classify as an emerging Hispanic state, I think the growth in the Latino population and its, how its youth do is a very important issue. Um, and of course, with our youth, we're already a minority majority. And I think what a wonderful thing for my children to be able to go to the public schools in West Valley City and learn to, to work well with, with people from all over the world or different backgrounds from where their parents or grandparents are from. And that really is the future of Utah. But more importantly, the Latinos in Utah really collaborate with each other. Se dan apoyo uno al otro y este, la colaboración y están todos involucrados en tratar de ayudar a la comunidad. I think that means a lot. I think it sets a fine example for the rest of the country. Uh, all the way from Washington, D.C., we watch what happens in Utah, and that's why I flew in just for a, a couple of minutes to say hello and, and to uh, really congratulate the Hispanic uh, Chamber here for all the wonderful work they do and the leadership that they provide for the rest of the country, really, on a, on a national basis. Originally, I was a, a member through my work with Zions Bank, and then after that, I became an individual member. Pagué la membresía de, de la agencia donde yo trabajaba y así fue como empezó la relación y, y la verdad es que estoy muy agradecido porque pienso que hay potencial. Through that, as well as word of mouth from other people who have seen my work or used me as their photographer, has helped me grow in my photography business. Cuando conoces a gente que te apoya, que cree en ti y que también te recomienda con otras personas, que es lo que he visto yo en la cámara, um, cambia tu perspectiva y te ayuda también a poder, no sé, a, a crecer tu autoestima y, y entiendes que es importante tener buenas relaciones con la gente y que siempre hay esa ayuda que te puede ayudar profesionalmente. La verdad es que para mí una de las mejores decisiones que hice fue el unirme a, a la Cámara de Comercio Hispano. The Chamber has been a wonderful partner for us. They've helped us to network, to find new clients and to understand the Latino market here in Utah. Pero realmente pienso que tenemos todo el apoyo de la cámara. Si tú puedes conseguir gente que te ayude, que te ayuda en tu idioma específicamente, que te va a ayudar a ver el aspecto legal, pues únete a esos recursos para que sean tu fuerte también en los momentos difíciles. I was able to be part of the fast track class that I took and uh, it helped me with the business aspect of it and understanding what a business plan is. Um, budgeting for it and just having everything ready so that I wouldn't fail in my business. You know the Chamber um, has really come on just this past year because they've seen our growth and they see that what we're trying to do is, is provide future business leaders. Um, so they are partnering with us in various different This next year in our conference, um, we, they want to do more workshops with us. I became the MC for the 2009 convention. So that was my, my first work and my first relationship that I started with the Chamber of Commerce. Even I would say two great opportunities at my job, Science Bank. I think that the growth in the Latino community in uh, Utah has been phenomenal. I was shocked to see that the, I think it's nearly 12% of the statewide population. When I started uh, 
paying attention to Utah population figures, it was 2%. So the growth has been phenomenal. It's very consistent with what's happening across the country where communities are being invested in and improved in by the energy and enthusiasm of Latino families. And I think it speaks loud that the Latino voice is getting organized. It's it's much, uh, I think it's stronger here in Utah, and it's going to make a world of difference in terms of the politics of the future of the state. conference, this convention is, is just spectacular. I love the content that's being delivered, I love the messages, and I love the organization. It's, it's I think, very inspiring, and I hope that you'll be able to share the success of this event with a lot of other Latino chambers all over the country. 